Now we're back. Before I'm an Algerian. We, will, we are from North Africa. The sun is our, you know, we are, we are connected to the sun. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. And I have a lot of faith in humanity. Okay. Um, and I believe that everything happens for a reason. That's right. Do you, that's right. Do you agree with yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, behind. I was talking to somebody earlier, and they said to me that uh, within Islam, yeah. children aren't uh, they can't be sinners because they don't understand. That's correct. Right. And that that change happens in puberty. But they don't know if that's right. No, just puberty. Okay. Puberty also mentally they are there because sometimes a person can reach the age of puberty, mm -hmm. but mentally they're not there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Islamically, like uh, the message of Allah, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, he said uh, the parents believe that meaning the person will not be held accountable. Three types of people will not be held accountable if they do something wrong. Mm -hmm. The one who's sleeping, if someone's sleeping and he does, he starts swearing or insulting, you can't take it accountable because not there. Okay. Or Someone who is insane, okay. who's lost, uh, lost his uh, sanity. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it's not just age puberty, age puberty also sanity. The person okay. is uh, also he knows that what he did was a sin. You see. Thank you for clarifying. No problem, you are cool. Um, and so my question is, at what point do we say that that person is accountable for their action? As I mentioned, when you reach the age puberty, yeah, and mentally is there, yeah, and he knows what he did was a sin. That for afterwards example, or before? And no, no, afterwards. Because why? Right, uh, Allah, Allah shows you Allah is a just. Yeah. You know, Allah is the most just. Allah said in the Quran, I would, I would recite in Arabic then translate yeah. the meaning. Yeah? Allah said, وَمَا كُنَّ مُعَدِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولَ We will never punish people until we send a messenger or we clarify the message to them. Okay? okay. So, for example, if a person, imagine someone become a Muslim in a in jungle, you know? And he doesn't know that, uh, for example, uh, 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 fornicating is forbidden Islam. For example, yeah. Then, if he does it, it's a sin, but he will not hold accountable and get sin because he didn't know. You know. So knowledge is very, uh, one of the conditions is a knowledge. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, I I'm somebody who doesn't eat any or tries as, as hard as I can yeah. to not harm people, okay. and I include animals okay. in, in my circle of compassion. Okay. Um, and I struggle because sometimes I tell people, you know, I don't think you should do this because it causes harm and suffering okay. and they continue to do it. Yeah. And I, for a long time, held people accountable. So I tell my father, don't eat cows because when you do, somebody has to kill the cow and it's horrible for them. Yeah. And he's, he would continue to do that. Yeah. And if I held him accountable, yeah. I got really angry at him. Yeah. But I realized recently my um, theory has changed and that I believe that people are sort of only ready to hear things once they've, once they've heard them. So you say to the guy in the jungle, you go into the jungle and you say, uh, okay, fornicating is a sin. And he's like, oh cool, I understand fornicating is a sin and I know what fornicating means. Yeah. But you have to like, you have to clarify that. And so when that's where the gray area comes in for me because at what point have you clarified it? What? Like at what point of, uh, do you, are you sure that he knows what he means? So like let's not use fornication, let's use like a really, can you pick a really small sin? It's easier to talk about things yeah. than less. I don't know. Why was, like uh, wasting food? Yeah, wasting food is a right. sin, yes, okay. correct. So wasting food is a sin. Yeah. So um, how do you know that I understand, I understand what that means in order to blame me then and say that what I've done is a problem? So you say to a child, no, no, don't take loads of food because you might not be that hungry and if you waste the food that is a sin the child understands what you've asked not to take too much food but they still think that they will eat more than they than they take that, that, that's a different thing to be honest why right? because okay. uh, for example uh, uh, in the quran again uh, the justice of uh, for everyone uh, for mankind is in the quran so in the quran teaches us that allah mentioned the quran we haven't not sent a messenger except with the language of his people to clarify to them. Okay? So one of the conditions that makes sure that the person you are addressing and you are speaking to to understand the language. Don't come to England start speaking to the English speaker in Arabic language by telling them to smoke or drink. Of course you're gonna understand. Okay? And also you have to analyze that the person is there, he's mentally there, mentally stable. Also now it's after that if you commit sin or not it's not for you to go and start you know now you explain to him maybe he could be sincere he said you know i didn't understand probably 
maybe it's playing around because some people they play around okay understand some people they do understand but they start pretending as, they, as if they don't understand but what i would say to you that in order for us here yeah, to have any discussion okay when we speak about anything good or bad okay or uh, uh, good or evil or nice and bad it has to be based upon a criteria do you agree with me criteria which is objective not mm. subjective so talking about the difference here between objective morality and subjective yeah morality. you know why because now we cannot for example imagine in britain and always i mentioned this example in britain they say if you get married to a girl at the age of 14 that's pedophilia okay all right okay in England, okay. If you're over 18. Over eight, uh, if you're a person over 18, yeah, and yeah. you get married to someone who's 14, it's pedophilia. Yeah. However, in Italy, likewise in Africa, likewise in South America, that's not the case. Yeah. So yeah. now we cannot go to Africa or Italy or to South America. We say to them you are a pedophiles. Why? Because we in Britain we believe such and such. You're gonna say, hold a minute, you are in your country, that's okay, that's that's your country. You cannot yeah. try to impose your way on us. Because what is your criteria to determine what is pedophilia and what is not? Okay? No, it's true. You're going to see them out because in Britain, listen, the whole world is not Britain. You see what I'm saying? So we have to have an objective criteria. Mm. That's why we as a Muslims, we always, the first thing I like to discuss with people is believing in the Creator. You see what I'm saying? Because if you believe in the Creator and the Creator who created everything, Logically speaking, he would know what is good for us in detail, what is bad for us in detail. Yes, generally speaking, we know what is good, what is bad. Allah mentioned that in the Quran. We have something called Al-Fitrah, which is natural inclination. What is natural inclination? Natural inclination, you don't have to go to school to learn you should not sleep with your mother. You know that is evil. You don't have to go to school to learn you should not oppress people. You know that is evil. However, you need revelation to explain that to you in detail and that when it comes in what the creator sending the prophets and messages because you know it's good to be good to the people you know but what about the one who created you what about the one who gave you life what about the one who created your parents what about the one who provides for you you with me so we always think about humanity humanity which is good but there's priorities for example to make it clear thank you for listening to me to make it clear to you imagine i'm good to my neighbor you know, I go to my neighbor, take care of them, look after them, treat them nicely. However, I don't take care of my parents. Am I a good person? You know, you might not like this. I don't think that there's such thing as good or bad people. So if someone raped a child, is it good then? I, I don't think that um, that there is such thing as good or bad person. No, no. actions are good or bad? No, no. But like good and bad yeah, people is a really difficult thing to... So in order for us to carry a discussion, we have to establish Darul Yad. What is Darul Yad? In Arabic, it's called what is known by necessity. You know, you cannot deny that if an action does not take place by itself, it needs a doer. Yeah. So you cannot blame the action and free the doer. If someone has started raping, uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. See what I'm saying? So, this so now, is, yeah, this is where my question was at. So but before I'm that, because I want to make sure, no, I don't. Have respect. I want to move on yeah. because I'm not going to say I don't, I don't want to waste. I don't want to say that, yeah. But to make sure that I'm, I, 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 we have to lay down uh, uh, what is not by necessity, and we have to, if we don't agree uh, upon that which is not by necessities, yeah. Therefore, it is useless to carry on discussion. I have respect. So now, are you telling me the man that goes around rape babies like five months, six months, is he good or bad? So. I would like to use a smaller example because I think that when you use the term or when you use the example of rape, it's a really extreme example. No, but I'm asking you why. Sorry to cut you. Do you know why? I know because, because I'm showing you the seriousness of your claim there is no good or bad person. Right. So I'm showing you there is good and bad person. So my question to you, now if someone go around and burning people alive yeah. for no reason, is it good or bad? I'm not, I don't agree to those terms of like a good or bad person. So what is he? What said, is he? Okay, what is he? It's a person. Uh, I didn't say it's a tree. No, of course it's a person. Of course it's a person. <laughs> of course. And his actions are good or bad. But no, like no. you said, subjectively good or bad. In depending on where you come from, and, and like something that you do here is considered good or bad, and something you do somewhere else is considered good. Or bad. No, but I believe raping a baby is five months, six months. Everyone knows it's bad. I think it's a bad action, but I don't think that. It's no, but everyone knows that the person who carries that action is bad person as well. International consensus. Yes, which is called this, which is called al fitra in Arabic. In Arabic, called fitra. What is fitra? Fitra, which God creates you with. Yeah. You know that if if I see 
big man yeah. stepping on a baby's head. Yeah. No one with a sound reasoning yeah. and natural inclination will try to justify it. Okay. So understand? Or saying this person, exactly. that actually is bad, that you're a good person. No, no, you are an evil, idiotic, terrorist person. Right. I think it's an awkward position to put me in because you, if I uh, agree to your terms, then, um, and I say, and I say that I don't think that people are good or bad. It makes it sound like I'm saying that the person is a good person. But that's not my term. It's called universal no. terms. I'm using. Right. But if, can I ask you a question, and maybe it would help me understand? Go on. It's open, inshallah. Do you think uh, that somebody who causes unnecessary harm and suffering is a good or a bad person? Who causes unnecessary harm to people? Harm and suffering. It's a bad person. Yeah. A bad. Person. Yeah. To people or to anything? To anything, because you have okay, unnecessary. Right. Yeah. Um, Okay, so somebody who ate meat, who knew that you didn't have to eat meat to survive, is a bad person. No, see, that's you see, as unnecessary. But now right. there is no human, and there is like There's no human that that survives no, 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 without no, eating meat. No, 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 no. What about people uh, uh, happy in Africa? Well, that, no, that's not my question. That's, that's what I'm question. saying. So they have to survive in meat. But my point here is that I don't no, know no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, that's what I'm saying. So we go back. Uh, oh, go, 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 go. Because that would wear the necessity. So like in, in this country, a rich person who could afford to eat anything that they want and you say, you don't have to eat meat to survive and then it's true that you don't, there's lots of people who don't If they eat meat, then they're a bad person You see where I have a tr No, that's not because that? why uh, Now, that's my point at the beginning that when God created these animals He did not create them just to and There's a reason behind creating them And God ordered us to And again, let me make it clear, Islam Because even Prophet Muhammad was not known to go around just eat meat, meat, meat. Yeah. Even Islamically speaking, that's not nice to eat too much meat. You know, yeah. it's not good for you. It's not okay. Uh, okay. However, the the, the 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 animals were created for the purpose for humans. Like God mentioned that. Understand? However, in Islam, right. you're not allowed to harm them. Meaning, Prophet Muhammad mentioned. He said, when you, for example, we have something called Eid. Eid, Eid Adha. When you sacrifice a goat or a sheep or a camel, yeah. Prophet Muhammad said, make sure you knife is sharp because yeah. you don't want to torture the other sheep. Likewise, make sure when you're doing it, the other sheep or the goat or the camel do not see it. Yeah, you understand? Right. So there is, Prophet Muhammad, understand the understand? Surah, so, like halal so, so, yeah, so the halal way is the best way, understand? However, that, again, the eating meat, the, there, there is many benefits in eating meat, but also there's harms. But my point here is, there's no benefit in raping the babies. But it, so raping the babies because okay, let me forget all of that. You believe in God? Uh, to find God. You believe in the Creator of the heavens and the earth and that which is between them? <laughs> Divine Creator. Uh, okay, that's, crea my, that's my problem. I believe okay, the in a universe. I have the. I, I struggle with the word God because okay, the, of people's perception of what that means. Okay, the Creator. Okay, there was this. This, this is creation, correct? Something. I believe in one. I believe in that everything is connected, and if that is God, then no, no, yes. Okay, but if that's not, then no. okay. No, no. For example, when you look at the creation of this universe, you can see there is a wisdom behind this creation. You can see. There is ability. For example, to make it clear to you, the phone. Okay, the phone, yes? I don't know, I've had this discussion, but I've had this discussion a lot of times, but I think we're getting a little bit sidetracked. No, no, because the question was about good and bad, right? Yeah, but again, because you, 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 are, you are struggling to say someone who go raping the babies is bad. So I'm thinking I'm going to stop here, to be honest. But I'm, you're struggling to say that somebody who kills an animal unnecessarily is bad. I'll say it. Yeah, I'll they say are it. bad? Yeah, unnecessarily is bad. Okay, well then, then, I will, then I would agree with you that somebody who raped a baby is a bad person. <laughs> yeah, but unnecessarily. But in the same way that somebody who kills an animal is a bad person. It's not the same. No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying that it's the same. Bro, bro, bro. There's no, there's no something called necessary someone going there's no there's no excuse for someone going right uh, going around raping the babies right that five months five months old right? it's okay. but, uh, like, uh, but if you're eating if, but uh, one of my, my point is that it's the unnecessary part and so but again, what is unnecessary to you maybe is, is uh, it's not to the other person understand my point here but uh, again i'm coming raping the babies bro yeah. there's no like it's really universal like that as an example no no because i want to show traumatic. because we're, uh, to be honest i have respect here i want to make sure if i want to carry on the discussion or not yeah because if you start this if we start debating about something which is no by necessity it's evil therefore it's pointless for us to 
carry on talking about anything else in the stand. But, my, and, 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 but we didn't really get to my question. My question is about at what point do you hold somebody accountable and at where do you... I did answer it if you remember. Where do you see, the second part of it is, where do you see the value of intent? Because I was speaking to somebody earlier and they said, even if you do a sin, but your intention was good, you can be forgiven for that. No, it depends. No, no, no. If you know it's a sin, because intention is not enough in Islam. Not about because why? To prove that in Islam, you need intention. Yeah. Intention means you're doing it for the sake of God. Also, has to be according to the teacher of Prophet Muhammad. So, for example, you cannot go say, no, my intention to do it for God, I'm going to kill children and women in the streets. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's forbidden Islam, regardless. Yeah. You understand? So, intention is not enough. However, if you are ignorant, okay, if you didn't know, and your intention is like to do something good, and you uh, start to do something, and you didn't know, okay, maybe because you're ignorant, then there's excuse. But not everything, because sometimes ignorance is no excuse. Because some issues are known again by necessity. Not everything, if a person doesn't know it, is excused. You understand? So, other things, for example, going around killing uh, innocent people is not by necessity, it's forbidden. You cannot go and say, I never knew it's done forbidden. You know, that is known by necessity. Do you include animals? In yeah, kill an animal for no, for no reason, yeah. yeah. For no reason, start stabbing, start stabbing animals. But it's not for no reason. So, like, you know? rock something is unnecessary and the same. Killing anything. Prophet Muhammad والسلام, he mentioned to us that look look sorry yeah, we no. have we have look Islam came with human rights with the woman's rights with the animals rights with the environment's rights before this new uh, this urbanization started Prophet Muhammad one of the miracles he was able to communicate with understand the animals once he was standing and there's a camel who complained to him Prophet Muhammad said who is the owner of this camel he said me he said fear Allah in this camel because you're making it work harder and you don't feed it. You see, you don't take care of it. You understand? <laughs> so again, I have a question to you now. Yeah. If someone going around killing and raping babies, is it good person or evil person? I, I'm still going to have to hold. Ah, so I have to care of you, so I have to go. But I have okay. to go. No problem. What's your name again? My name is Dag. Dag, my name is Shamsi. Nice to meet you.